Just another impressive comeback by a running back here in these playoffs to Derrick Henry to come back. And Diana say there's no limitations. And then you see him in those practice films. They're hitting on this guy. I mean, this, this is full go. I mean, no snap count, no limitations. This is Derrick Henry. This is bully ball at its finest. There is, even on the defensive side of the ball, I see him getting ready at practice, and I see him hitting like that. I'm like, here we go, is on. That's just type of the mental advantage that it brings to the entire team for him to come back. You know, you sitting there talking about it practice. Practice. Me being an offensive player, I'm down in my wide receiver individual drills, but I'm sitting there like, Randy, pay attention, pay attention. <laughs> hey, I'm looking down there to see what the king is doing. But you heard Diana talking about the anticipation of bringing Derrick Henry back. I know the fans, I know the organization excited, but I want to talk about the, the, the ride that the Bengals is on right now, what they cannot afford. And what they cannot afford is going on the road and having Derrick Henry ignite this, uh, this stadium, ignite this team, because what they're waiting on, they're waiting on one play for Derrick Henry to square his shoulders or throw a DB up out of the club. And I think if the Cincinnati Bengals are missing their defensive tackle, they cannot, they have the momentum, they have the energy going into this game. They just can't afford the Tennessee Titans with Derrick Henry to ignite this daggone stadium. You know, it's funny. Why are we all talking about Derrick Henry? You know, Foreman played really well. No, there's only one Derrick Henry in this league. No, shout yeah. out there's to Foreman, only, though. He yeah. held it down, yeah. Rich. He, he held it down. But let me tell you the difference. Who's going to be the biggest benefactor of having Derrick Henry in the backfield? How about the quarterback, the guy in front of him, Ryan Tannehill? You know, does it make a difference? Well, I don't know. His QBR... Ryan Tannehill's uh, QBR is 32 points higher with Derrick Henry in the backfield. Oh, by the way, that would lead the league. Mm -hmm. So that's the difference. I, I, I tell my neighbor all the time that is Keith Schumacher guy, all he does is talk about when the Titans are winning, it's we this, we that. When they don't, it's, we man, they're not, not any good. We but out I'm saying this, I'm shouting out neighbors, shout out neighbors but I told them the difference it makes having this, this quarter, having Henry in there. Tannehill is a great quarterback with Derrick Henry there. Why? The play action, the running game, the play action, the one-on-one. Tannehill's a better yeah, quarterback. I think it's because these DBs are more concerned about getting, getting posterized. You're right. Yeah, right. Like that's, that, fair. That, that's in the back of their mind. And no doubt, when Derrick Henry comes back, I think it's a lift to the offense, the, the Titans, but I think it's just that intimidation factor or just that, that knowledge for the opponent. Like, hey, yeah. we don't want to get posterized. We joke about yeah. it, but I think it's a real thing. You just wonder if this Bengals team is too young, maybe too stupid in, in good ways to be intimidated. You know, they're playing with so much confidence Ooh, right now. And by the way, we got to remember, I mean, I, we call him King Henry for good reason. But last year in the playoffs against the Ravens, they held him to 40 yards rushing. So it can be done. I'm not Game saying tackle. the Bengals will. Yeah, you got to do it up. together. Yeah. You can't, can't do that alone. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.